the office is treated like this to my knowledge i have done justice to my duty and whatever may be the problems i face because in the morning if i see the i always thank the print media and the electronic media morning first i see the media and decide about what all the problems the people are facing and what all the problems which we have to face which we have to help them and in what all the ways we have to reach out them this this is not this one only single incidents which i mentioned here we were denied the governor ad i was denied the governor address i was denied the hoisting the flag on the republic day and even now wherever i go the protocol is totally not followed i am not attend the governor the collector doesn't come and greet us and we are not i am not bothered but the office should be respected so definitely there will be in the history of telangana a governor office a governor is treated like this i don't want that history to be written in a negative way so because i am why i am this also i first of all i didn't want to talk about that but sometimes the reality should be known to the people of the telangana i always put all the problems in front of the people of telangana and i leave it to the people's opinion is it correct the governor is not allowed to take the opportunity of hoisting the flag on the republic day it is correct whether the government nay i am not worried because from that time i am not asking any help from the government for my transport wherever i could go through car by car i will go wherever i could reach out the people by train i am traveling but why this is happening what is the problem and if at all anything a good interaction will definitely solve the problems it is not meant that a governor should accept everything and it is not the uh, it is not the governor who is not denying everything he is not accepting everything i am a very reasonable person i study the matter clearly and if it is whatever may be the possible even certain things i feel the people of telangana should know about certain things where how the governor office is treated but in spite of that i am telling only this is said some truth should be revealed to the people of telangana but i am setting aside this i am this protocol issues or the respect to the highest office the constitutional office or to the respect to the most of the time the governor's office is humiliated for example at home if the the highest elected representative is not coming they should have informed us first they informed they will come and there was no any message from the office whether they are coming or not these take the system should be followed so again i am telling i don't want to talk about all these things but i wanted to the people of telangana to know about that because we cannot hide these things in the history which is going to be written in the pages of telangana but in spite of that as i said to the people of telangana i love the people of telangana and there is no any personal motives in any of my activities i can again very strongly say there is no any personal motive on any of my activities with pure mind with the affection to the people of telangana it is my duty as a first citizen i have to attend this problem so only in that way i am attending i may be humiliated in the facebook or social media i am when i was a politician it is the curse of some of the women who are coming up in the life they will be the targets 
and they will be humiliated in the social media. When I was a politician also, I was targeted, even now as a governor also I am, tar I am targeted. But I am not bothered about all things, I am a very strong person. Nobody can shatter my strength or my commitment towards the people and whatever may be the assignment given to me, it is only for the people all my activities will be. And a true relationship and a true friendship between the people can solve most of the problems, but discriminating, discrimination of any office or anybody, it is not acceptable in this 75th year of independence we are celebrating, but a governor is asked not to talk on a Republic Day. <laughs> But that didn't put the government on a halt, but governor, in spite of requesting for a speech, it, if it, is, it was not given, but I gave a message to the people of Telangana. So whatever may be the hurdles, whatever may be the situation we face, I am a very, it, I run a very transparent office, and then they are telling you, you are con conducting Mahila Darbar, what is the follow-up? You are going to the, office, uh, to the people hostel, what is the follow-up? I have written letter, when I went to Basara IIT, really it was disheartening to see the hostel situation. Disheartening to see the food. It was, I, I, uh, in, a, in a lighter sense, the, uh, the vada served to me was so soft. The vada served to the children was so hard. Then the children told, at least from next day we will have, a, what will the change you will bring? I told, at least the vada will be soft from tomorrow. At least the smallest change which I can say. I am not telling I can bring great changes because I know the limitation of my duty and the limitation of my office. But I can motivate and I can initiate something. So I, have writ I wrote a letter how the uh, hostels are uh, in a very, I cannot, I, I should not uh, add adjectives. It is a very poor condition where the children cannot live. They, they are the future generation. Then some of the hostels, even Telugu University, I point out that certain problems. I and I have always informed the government that also I can do as chancellor. Uh, Basara is not under me as a chancellor, but uh, because of on humanitarian grounds, I went and saw it and interacted with the children and even now what all the ways we could solve even when we met some of the uh, women with the problem during Mahila Darbar we always even now we are following it up and we are not running the government so that every problem could be solved but we are even informed the, in the uh, representatives but uh, because it is from uh, Rajbhavan I don't know whether they are taking it or not but within our limits. Some monetary help we have given, some recommendations to the hospitals we have done, and some uh, uh, help to the studies we have done. But whatever may be, I really thank you all. And my habit is enjoy everything. Whether you give respect, okay. You are not giving respect, okay, okay, no problem. We will do our duty. Let us all united do our duty, and this is Whatever may be, as I said, na jivitam prajala kosami. It is, they cannot say governor should not go there, governor cannot go there. That is no any boundaries for a governor. As a citizen, she can go anywhere, interact with anybody, and go to any place, so that only it's a, to the floods. They are saying, you went to the flood area, what help? By deciding to go to the flooded area, I motivated others to go to the flooded area. That is the indirectly, I have motivated some people to their duty after performing, <laughs> after initiating certain efforts. So I am really happy to meet you all and let us all be jubilant. We are celebrating our 75th year of independence 
and everyone says whatever may be the office my intention is only to tell the people and my opinion is whether it is the people representative's office or whether it is the village sarpanch office whether it is governor's office everything is only for the people service the basic intention may basic duty of each and every office is should be towards the people only we are performing in that way only and i am really thankful to you all and i thank my advisers both of them very senior officers sharma ji and mohanti ji and my secretaries the secretary surendra mohan garu and joint secretaries bhavani shankar and joint secretary ragu prasad and my media advisor raja ram and all the my adcs uh, narsima and uh, rajdeep and my senior osd sheshagiri rao garu and all my office from the top office to all my housemates and i even who are all helping me and performing the duty of rajbhavan towards the people of telangana i thank each and every one and i thank all the journalists print electronic media and freelance journalists who have come here and uh, really i am thankful to mr srinivasara from hindustan times from uh, ratna from siyaset man and jafar hussein and bbn badma badma raj badma durai ya badma raj and bhuvana ja uh, from hindi milap and uh, Beva Narayanan from Sivanthara TV and Sandeep Reddy from Maha News, Uma Sudhir from NDTV, Jagar from Raj News and Srinivas from City Vision and all the journalists and all the friends who have assembled here and really I feel and I have our opinion, journalist, journalism. is the fourth pillar of our democracy and a good politician and a good office will definitely have a very good relationship with the journalist with the press media because you are the pillars between the office the institutions and the people and when we want to meet the press i am always very frank and i don't want to hide or i don't want to uh go away from the press because we are very straight forward and my office is very transparent and my office is doing the duty only for the people again i thank you for your presence here let us all have a good lunch thank you so much <laughs>